hello everyone in continuation with the um, median and various questions we have come to the last part wherein we are we are actually having an empirical relationship between the three measures of the central tendencies that means we are having a relationship between the median mode and mean so either two of the values if is given then you can find the third one that is why this is a, there is a it is a proven relationship that when you multiply when you three, take three times of median that should be equal to mode plus twice the mean or mode is equal to three times median minus two mean so for a quick example i have uh, take uh, to understand this formula i have taken a uh, question where it says the mean is 24 and the mode is 12 so let's write down the mean is 24 and mode is 12. So what's the formula saying? We need to find the median. So median is equals to mode, sorry, three times median is equals to mode plus two mean. So that is equals to 12 plus two multiplied by 24. That is 12 plus 48, which is equals to a 60. Now, this is still 3 median. So, median is equal to 60 divided by 3, which is equal to 20. Correct? So, this is how we will we'll be having questions wherein, or it can be like there will be a table, uh, continuous frequency given, and two uh, of the three has to be found using the um, table, and then the third one. And mostly we find the mode and the median through the frequency table, and we get the median through this formula. Hope this is clear. The last part that we are going to talk about using the median formula is finding the missing frequency. So here the question they are saying that the median is 525. And the total frequency, that means here we say n, it's given as 100. So we can directly find n by 2 equals to 50 for the time being, right? We can directly use it. Now we are going to do the CF and use it further on. So I'm going to rewrite that median and n given. So median is 525. Total frequency is given as 100. So n by 2 is 100 by 2 which is equals to 50. Now if you look at the question we have two unknown frequencies. Okay that means we'll end up having two linear equations or two equations but uh, having x and y so, we have to use this total frequency to get one of the equations, which I'll be explaining in a minute. So, first let's make the CF. The same rule, the first frequency will go as such, the second frequency will be 5 plus 2, which is 10, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, 5 plus 2 is 7. Mistake. Then, 7 plus X. 12 plus 7 is 19 plus X. 19 plus 17 will be a 36 plus X. Then 56 plus x, right? So keep the x in each section. Now it's a 56 plus x plus y. Then 9 plus 56 is going to be a 65 plus x plus y, right? Then it is 7. So that means 72 plus x plus y. And then it will be a 76 plus x plus y, correct? Now in this case, we already know that n by 2 is 50. So, which is the nearest and the largest, right? Now, if you look into the um, given part, we end up having the term which is 56 plus x. We'll select this because we don't know the value of x and that is what we have to find. 56 already is greatest and nearest to 50 and 50 plus x will be going to make it greater than x. We cannot take a risk with by taking 36 plus x because x can be a 10, that will be 46 which is smaller than 50. So better to go for a 56 plus x. That will be the median class. Right? So now we will say uh, the lower limit is going to be 100. Height, sorry, class length is going to be a, sorry, lower limit is 500, class length is 100, frequency is 20, and the cumulative frequency is 36 plus x. Yep. Now we'll directly use the median formula on one side and 
the total frequency formula on the other side. What do I mean by that? The last entry of the CF table is nothing but n, which we were using for such a long time in all the different questions. So the same thing we are going to do that to get the first equation. So n is already given in the question as 100 and the n that we get from the equation is 76 plus x plus y is equals to 100. So x plus y equals to 100 minus 76. So x plus y will be equals to a 24. Right, that's my first equation. Now we'll use the median formula to find the next equation. Median is equals to L plus n by 2 minus yes, cf divided by f multiplied by h. What is my median given? 525. Lower limit is 500 plus n by 2 is 50, not 76 plus x plus y. We'll take 50. Okay. Minus CF is 36 plus x. Let's put a bracket like this so that we are subtracting that. And F is going to be a 20. Class length is 100. So this 20 will cancel off and we'll get a 5. This 500 I'm going to shift to the left. So that will become 525 minus 500 equals to 50 and I'm opening this so that is minus 36 minus x. Okay, the whole thing is multiplied by 5. Again, I took the 500 to the left, subtracted it. I've simplified 20 and 100 as 5, right? Now I'm opening this bracket so this becomes 30, 50 minus 36 minus x multiplied by 5. So this will give me 25 equals to 50 minus 36 is going to be a 14 minus x, the whole 5, correct? Now I'll shift the 5 on the other side. So the 5 will be divided. So it will be 5 is equals to 14 minus x. So x is equals to 14 minus 5 which is a 9. So I got my x. Correct? Now what we'll do, we'll substitute this value of x here in this equation. So we'll say x is 9. So 9 plus y is equals to 24. So y is equals to 24 minus 9 which is a 13. Sorry, 15. Clear? So we got both the equation values of x and y. Let's take one more quick example to understand this. Okay. So again here what they have given the median is 28.5. Okay. And they have not given the total distribution frequency. Sorry I missed out it's 60 given as total. So n is given to be 60 and median is given to be uh, 28.5. So let's do a n by 2 here itself. It will be 60 divided by 2, which is a 30. Now let's start. This is a CF. So 5 goes there. Then 5 plus x. Then 25 plus x. Then it will be a 30. Sorry, 40 plus x. Then 40 plus x plus y. And then 45 plus x plus y. Now what is my n by 2? My n by 2 is 30. Correct? So, 30, nearest and the largest. Again, we will not take 25 plus x because it's going to, we can take of 25 plus x because x can be more than 5 also. Right? So, let's, it, yeah, we can take 40, but we can go for a 25 plus x because there is only a difference of 5. Whereas in the previous case, it was more than that, 36 and 50, there was a large difference. So, we didn't took the risk of considering that. But 25 and 30, there's a very minute difference. So we are going to take this as a median class. Okay. So your lower limit will be 20. The class length will be 10. The frequency will be 20. And your CF will be 5 plus X. Clear? Now, you will use, we'll use the N by N from the CF table. That is 45 plus X plus Y. And n is given as 60. So first equation, n is equals to 45 plus x plus y. Given as 60 equals to 45 plus x plus y. So we'll subtract here. We'll get 15 equals to x plus y. That's the first equation that we get from the total frequency. Now from the median that we are going to work out. So median equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF divided by F multiplied by height, which is equal to my CF is 20 plus median is 28.5. N by 2 is 30 minus 
cf is 5 plus x please put a bracket to separate it out from the minus uh, so that you will take minus 5 minus x that's why and then we'll go for divide by f that is 20 multiplied by the height that is 10 correct now we'll simplify the 10 and the 20 so i'll be left out with 2 i'm going to shift this 20 to the left so uh, the denominator is 2 for that one. If the 20 goes other side, it's 28.5 8, minus 20 is equal to 30 minus 5 minus x divided by 2. Right? I'll end up having 8.5 equals to 25 minus x divided by 2. Shift the 5 on the other side. So it's going to get multiplied and that will give me a 17 equals to 25 minus x. So x is equals to 25 minus 17, which is a 8. Now substitute the value of x here. So 15 is equals to 8 plus y. So 15 minus 8 equals to y. So 7 is y. So we got our x and the y. Correct? y as 7 and x as 8. So this is how we do it. We get the, we make two equations. One is through the frequency which is given and the end the last entry of the frequency, see cumulative frequency is also total frequency given and the median form. I've taken some extra questions for you to solve. The same rule, you'll add them up. If the difference of n by 2 with your cumulative frequency for selecting more than half, be very careful that you are selecting the one which is more closer. Like 25 was more closer to 30, so I have select, we selected that. And in this case, we didn't select 36 because 36 and 50, there is a gap of 14. So we cannot take that risk. Okay, maybe the reading will be wrong. Therefore, we went for 40, 56 plus x. And 56 means 6. There's a difference of 6. Same way here, we took 25 plus x because the difference was 5. Hope it makes sense. And the last one, the relationship between the median mode is 3 times median is equals to mode plus median. Thus, we have, we have actually seen all the different types of problems related to median of continuous frequency distribution. Thank you.